Today we're going to take a look at a really cool free app called Skitch. Skitch is an iPad app that I can go into over here and notice there's a whole bunch of features right off the bat. From the main page I can go and do a bunch of things. One, I could load up the photo. So this could be a photo from my camera roll, photo stream, or anywhere on my device. I'm going to go and grab one from my uh, camera roll over here. Grab a screenshot that I had taken of another app, which is called Motuto. So Motuto is over here and not on the main page, but on the left hand side you'll notice a whole bunch of different tools. I can go back to the home page. I can actually save whatever I'm working on back to Evernote. This is actually an Evernote product, which is really cool because it integrates very nicely. I can also send it in a tweet, mirror it, drop it in an email, and do a whole bunch of other stuff like that. I can take my finger over here and kind of do selections if I wanted to crop around and, and move around on the image. Using my pencil tool over here, I can actually start to annotate things. So you'll notice over here I'm going to do, uh, let's say this is the screen. And if I wanted to, I can draw an arrow to any part over there. I can also take an arrow, let's say, over here and write in a different color, blue, in order to make it smaller. Grab my pen and write chat. That's the chat window. I could put in text if I wish. I could put in shapes, so very easily I could do that. I can also come over here and crop the image if I wanted to to any dimension that I wish. So I can crop it like this and it automatically resizes that image, recrops it for me. I can trash the image, I can go back a step, or I can go forward a step, and I can go back to my home page. It automatically will save what I'm working on, you'll notice it's right there. Hold on it long enough, and it'll come up the same way your home screen does, with a little X to erase some of the stuff you've been working on. So I can just quickly click on that and delete the ones I'm not using right now. Now, I can also load up my camera, and it'll allow me to take a picture and annotate the picture in real time. I can click on the screenshot button and it basically shows you how to take a screenshot with your iPad. If you don't know this already, it's a really powerful, cool tool. You hit the power button and the home button at the same time. The screen will flash to a white. You'll see it right here, just like that. And now that's part of my uh, camera roll. You can also go to the web. So this is kind of neat. If I go over here and I type in, let's say if I go to a website that we all know, if I go to Edge Tacker, and I can actually take a screenshot of this page, any part of the website, go like this, once it's loaded, click that, it took a screenshot for me, and now it's going to automatically allow me to annotate it. So I can come over here and do, you know, say that that is the home screen, I could point to the links, I could do uh, any various combination of, of arrows pointing to different things over here, and just very, very easily mock that up and save it, send it, or share it with my Evernote. So it popped up my Evernote, I can actually retitle it here, and really, really simple. Now we're just going to say Edge Attacker test and save and it's going to go right into my Evernote stuff which is fantastic. Okay, Now, the last couple things you want to see on here is you could also actually take a map. So I can go on to and I'll load up a map and if I go, let's say I want to find where I am right now, I could use this button to kind of auto locate me. So I'm kind of over there somewhere. I could take this button and capture that on a map. Go back to the home page and then start annotating that right there. Um, this is really great, obviously, to send people the directions, but also it's just interesting to be able to work with students and kind of showing them the map of the area and, and teaching them how to be better, uh, not only map readers, but also they can annotate and do historical pieces on there. There's a lot of stuff you could do. But there's also a way to start as a blank. So over here, very simply, I can kind of take my blank canvas. It has a complete list of, you know, as I showed you before, it has a whole bunch of different tools, both shapes and, of course, colors and sizes. You can come over here and really create something very special which uh, is very cool. So you should definitely check that out. That is called Skitch. And it's a great free app available now on the iTunes store.